So in this video, I want to talk about the regulation of gastric juice secretion. So when do we start making some gastric juice? Already during cephalic phase, when there are some reflexes and going to release GRP, gastrin releasing peptide, onto the G cell. The G cell makes our gastrin. We will also get gastrin released when there's a gastric distension reflex and also when there is partly digested food reaching the G cell because there are receptors on the G cells for peptides and amino acids that can also stimulate then the gastrin release. So the G cells, they sit particularly in the antrum. And where do we find the parietal cells, so the cell that finally makes the acid? They are particularly found in the corpus and the fundus. So that means that gastrin needs to travel via the blood to stimulate the parietal cell. So gastrin acts as a hormone, as an endocrine factor. So there are gastrin receptors, which are called CCK2 receptors, on the parietal cell. So once they are stimulated, you start making some acid. And also a major product of the parietal cell is the intrinsic factor, which is, by the way, the only product of the stomach that is really essential for life. And it's going to help us to absorb vitamin B12. So the CCK2 receptor does not only sit on the parietal cell, it also sits on the neighboring ECL cell. So the ECL cell, once that gets stimulated via gastrin, it starts to make histamine. So gastrin is the major stimulus for histamine production in the ECL cells. And histamine can then act as a paracrine mediator to activate the histamine 2 receptor on the parietal cell. So again, this is a paracrine mediator, meaning that comes from a neighboring cell. Histamine does not need to travel through the blood. So that's just next to it. Those cells sit next to it, so it's a, a paracrine mediator. Histamine, as well as gastrin, then can stimulate the chief cell to make pepsinogen and gastric lipase. Which other mediators can stimulate acid production? Besides gastrin that acts as a hormone and histamine that acts as a paracrine mediator, we can also have the stimulation through acid to choline, which is released once there is a gastric distension reflex and also um, during cephalic phase. So acetylcholine acts on the M3 receptors and then can also stimulate acid production. It also acts on the chief cell to make more pepsinogen and gastric lipase and also can stimulate the ECL cell to make more histamine. When the stomach empties and when intestinal phase starts, we need to make sure that we have a process in place that also then inhibits the acid secretion. So at that point, our major player here is somatostatin, which I've abbreviated here with SST. So somatostatin is secreted by the D cells, and those D cells have pH-sensitive receptors. So once the pH is going to go very low, those cells start to make somatostatin. Somatostatin then acts on its receptors, and those receptors are basically found on any of the cells in the stomach, so on the ECL cells to decrease the histamine release on the parietal cell to directly also inhibit acid secretion on the chief cell and also on the G cell to directly decrease gastrin production. There are also other mediators that can increase the somatostatin production and one is secretin. Secretin is particularly found in the duodenum, so produced by the S cells and it's gonna travel as a hormone to the D cell and acts on the secretin receptor to increase somatostatin release. So I just want to finish up with one other mediator that inhibits acid secretion, and that's prostaglandin E2. This acts on the EP4 receptor and that inhibits acid secretion. So this is this dashed error to remind you that's an inhibitory signal. Prostaglandins are very protective to the stomach because they do not only inhibit acid production, but they also increase the mucus and bicarb production when they stimulate mucus cells. As prostaglandins are so protective for our stomach, you can also conclude that this is going to be the reason why people that are taking NSAIDs, so non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that inhibit prostaglandin production, have so many problems with stomach adverse effects.
This concludes the video on the regulation of gastric acid secretion.